What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're gonna do, we're gonna do this Tinkerer's Cube draft on Arena. But first, <coughs> Michael's gonna give us a little show here. Yeah, you can show the camera because you're better. Michael, purchased by Illusions Donate GG, otherwise known as Rob, who we do the first of group podcast with. With, with, I do it with him. This is Little Nitro. This is the world's hottest gummy bear. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Scoville scale, but uh, in the ingredients, Thank you. I, ass I assume the ingredient that gives that gives the bear its power is 9 million shoe chili extract. And the fact that it says 9 million makes us think that might be a Scoville reference. If um, that's true, it would be roughly 3,000 times hotter than a jalapeno. This product is extremely spicy and has the potential to cause skin and or mouth irritation. <clears throat> It is intended for adults only and should be kept out of the reach of... Ch oh, wow. Well, <laughs> fuck it. I knew you were going to I guess it. that's it. All right, man. <clears throat> Are you ready for a little nitro? A little nitro comes in a little plastic. Like, this dude is well guarded. They keep this guy safe. And, uh... Don't touch it. Oh, I'm not touching it. It's all yours. I don't even want to touch it. <clears throat> Hmm. Doesn't smell hot. Just smells like a gummy. Okay, we're gonna hold on one second. You didn't eat it yet, right? What? Don't eat it yet. No, I ain't. Thank you. In fact, I'm gonna use a tissue to touch this, just in case. I'm gonna make it nice and big for your audience so they can, they can watch your. Beautiful face. <clears throat> As little nitro enters your enters your body. Don't rub your eyes or touch any. Well, I'm not gonna. Josh T, thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna use a uh, napkin to touch it. Just okay. In case. All right. So the challenge is I mean, it's, I have it's to awkward because it. it goes into your mouth, so it's not like you're avoiding. The challenge is I have to eat it, and then I can't have relief for five minutes. That's the challenge. Okay, Watch. I'm going to put a... Do we have a timer? I'm going to put up a timer. I guess I got one on my phone. Five minutes. Let me know when. All right, one, two, three, go. Okay. This is very hot. <laughs> well, you know what they say, Michael. No pain, no heat in the mouth. No mouth heat. <laughs> oh man this is he's <laughs> oh my <coughs> it's not looking good guys Oh, with that. Uh, <laughs> I should have got some walk water to me. Walk water? I was ready. Are you doing a game? Man? Yeah, can you go? What? Give me the water so it's ready when the time goes up. You want me to get water? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> All right, hold on. Oh, I'm crying. I'm literally crying. Oh, guys, it's really hot. Oh. Oh, it's hard to think. Oh. Oh, I really. Oh, I just keep building. Whew. Shut up and take my money. Oh, God. <coughs> oh. It's just like. It's like heat everywhere. Oh, wow. He's like legit crying. <coughs> oh, it's much. Yeah, this is worse than last step. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, it's really hot. Michael's having a moment. <clears throat> it's like all in the back of my throat and all over my tongue. And it's just like it's just like everywhere in my mouth. Oh. Oh. God, this is the longest five minutes of my life. Well, what's the challenge? He has to do it for Just eat it without just, like. No, after you eat it, you have to have five minutes where you don't get relief. 
Oh. Look at these tears. Look at these legit tears. <laughs> the real down. tears. <sighs> <coughs> I thought I was worried. Michael, do you need a bowl? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Guys, look at the timer. Guys, look at the tears. Can't do the timer. Two minutes, 13 <sighs> seconds. Oh, yeah, it's already starting. I can already feel it in my stomach. <laughs> Burning its way down. Oh. It's eating. <laughs> it's. Oh, God. If you're going to spew, just let me know and I'll get you a little bucket or something. Oh, well, we got this right here. Yeah, it's a full trash can. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it looks like? <laughs> How much time we got? Minute and 42 <clears throat> seconds. It's kind of subsiding a little bit. Yeah, but now I can feel it in my stomach. Well, that's just because <clears throat> it's no longer in your mouth. can't see the timer. I know. It's okay. Yeah, it'll, it will, we'll know when it goes off. It's got a little beep. <sighs> Michael, you got 75 seconds, bro. <clears throat> uh, I would imagine donations are working. <clears throat> Still in the back of my throat, though. And now it's back in my mouth because I moved. Because <laughs> you coughed? Or because yeah. you moved? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not a relevant fact. Uh, no, not at all. Jesus. <sighs> oh, I Can you it stream it coming out? That's disgusting. What's the time? Oh, the time? 30 seconds, man. My nose is running. Yeah, I can see it. You got tissues right there. Is this yours? Yeah. Okay. Make sure. it just in case. <clears throat> well, I just want, yeah, probably it's probably, oh, is that the one you used to pick it up? Yeah. Okay. Michael, you have 17 seconds. <sighs> 10 seconds, guys. It's hard to explain the feeling because it hurts to talk. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I know I can adequately explain it, but because I can't talk. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, that, oh. Because it's like the oils are just like in my mouth, so. Wow. I'm such a bitch, I would never do that. Yeah, well. Do you remember when me and you and Rob went to, uh. <laughs> I'm still worried he's gonna, I'm still worried he's gonna hurl. No, I could tell. Okay. God, it's gonna go everywhere if he does. It's gonna be just terrible. Let's start this. <laughs> Let's start the Tinkerer's Cube Draft. <clears throat> oh my god. There's like no flavor. At all. You have no flavor, you mean? Or the bear had no flavor? No flavor. Really? Other it wasn't like, there's nothing sweet? No. The first ingredient is corn syrup, second is sugar, so it... I feel like it has flavor, you just probably couldn't tell because of your body. Oh, we got a steam vents and a, and a breeding pool in this pack. Remember, you have to draw your second card each turn until it's three damage. I feel like there's a lot of build arounds in this set, or in this in this in this cube format. Okay, it's mostly out of my mouth, but now my stomach like actually legitimately hurts pretty bad. Your mouth does, or your stomach does? No, my stomach. You're gonna have to, dude. The shits you take have to be bigger than the shits you make. That's what John Lennon said. Did he? Well. Is paraphrasing. All right, twenty nine seconds. <clears throat> the point of the key was build rounds. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I just mean in this pack, there are also especially. I think it's just pyromancer. Draw two, deal three. Sure. I gotta just draw a second card. Oh, badge with the resub. What up, my dude? Um. <clears throat> Kazmina seems great with Pyroman. So you play this on three, then you play a Kazmina. You draw your second card, you shoot something. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell. That seems good too, but I, I feel like that might come back. Join my order. Unity is necessary in times of war. What's she saying? <clears throat> what are you saying, Kazmina? Michael, how you doing? 
Not good. Not good? No. Uh, Fire Prophecy also lets you draw a card. Let's take that. Yeah, I'm kind of banking on the Fire Prophecy coming back. Um, or not Fire Prophecy, the Double Vision. Uh, this is great. Winner's Battlefield, draw a card. Again, like we're just trying to draw multiple cards a turn. <coughs> Thank you. Music Manly with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um... Uh, Fairy Vandal seems to go well with the draw second card archetype. <coughs> Stop saying fire around Mike. Wow. <laughs> this just puts a card in your hand, so I'm not super excited about it. Could just be Guardian Idol. How you doing, Michael? Okay, my stomach really fucking hurts. Your stomach hurts? Yeah. Boy. On a scale of t 1 to 10, what were the wings we ate together and what was Nitro? Little, little Nitro. Comparatively, the wings are like a 5. This is like a 10. Oh, the wings might even though. be like a 4 compared to this. If I send you vegan pork rinds, will you eat them? Yeah, I don't, I don't see why not. <clears throat> like, my mouth was like almost numb. It was so hot. You all got any Pepto? <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. I could use some. <clears throat> Storm Herald, <clears throat> returning a number of aura cards. <clears throat> was it in your bathroom? Kinetic, uh, yeah. Okay. It's in the right, the right cabinet. Uh, equal number of instants and sorceries. Discard right. two cards and draw that many. That's pretty good. Rouse Outburst, also very good. I think we're just taking Ral's Outburst here. <clears throat> W2F Aya Vegan Pork. You don't know what vegan meat is? Like, you've never heard of Impossible Meat or Beyond Meat? That's kind of strange. <clears throat> um... Claim the Firstborn. Eh, we don't really have anything to, like, sacrifice. Perilous Mirror and Siren are the other options. Eh, I'll just take Perilous Mirror. I think it's a fine two drop to just, like, hold down the fort. Block something, shoot something. I may have to sneeze. Who am I kidding? I always have one sneeze a stream. Never fails. So a couple streamers I watch have a text to chat option for chat points, and I thought it might be a good addition to the stream. Uh, I, I don't I don't actually know what that is, but I would be more than willing to look into it. Sinister Sabotage and Lonely Sandbar both seem fine. <clears throat> Kind of like Sabotage, even though Lonely Sandbar does trigger our Iron Crag. Give me that double vision back, that'd be sick. <laughs> no double vision. Looks like, anyway. Uh, I think Steamkin's actually fine. Meh. It's like an Alexa that says the message and allowed on stream. <clears throat> oh, text to chat like where it reads it? No, I actually, I actually hate that. Well, for one thing, like, so I see it on Gabby's stream a lot. And, like, A, they're always talking over it. And B, like, the voice kind of just annoys me. It's like... Hey, how are you? I like to want to subscribe to your stream. I think you're really great and that's good. Fun. And it's just the, the voice really, really bugs me, actually. I don't know. Like, the voice is really kind of weird. <clears throat> and then they're always, like, talking. Like, they talk over it anyway. So, like, not, not nothing wrong with that. Like, that's fine. But, like, I just don't see the point of having the text to chat if you're just going to talk over it. 
Uh, target creature gets plus three, plus two until end of turn. Sure, Scorch Spitter. None of these are super exciting. I'll just take the trick, I guess. Text to Jad sounds like a creepy Five Nights at Freddy's. Five <laughs> oh, let's see. That's funny. See, that's comedy. Thank you. Yeah, this is way longer than I expected it to take for Mike to just get some Pepto. So I, I'm actually... Assuming something is going wrong. <clears throat> See in quotes. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, Talran's invocation seems great here. I'm a big Talran's invocation man. I think I hear him dying. And in the distance, a Michael B was dying. <clears throat> oh wow the kinetic auger came back that's pretty baller that's actually sick that's exactly what we wanted to happen flame spilled as fire and stalker creature excess damage tramples over it's actually pretty good I think that's probably correct I feel like removal is really important in this format like the alternative is an annex spark double and that's pretty much it. Mm. Can you OD on Pepto? We'll find out. <clears throat> Baron seems sweet. <clears throat> Departed Deckhand is fine. It's 2-2 two, two for 2. Uh... Eternal Skylord is good. 3-3 three, three, and then a 2-2. Two, two. Chillbringer's fine. Crackling Drake seems like exactly what we want, though. Yeah, let's Crackling Drake. You like Baron over Crackling Drake? This is like literally a Crackling Drake deck. Baron draws two? How does he do that? Oh, he draws as well? Well, I mean, like, if you're bouncing your own thing. <clears throat> Oh, Champion of Witch draws too, though. Uh, three damage any target, Scry one. Eh, gutter Snipe is f fascinating. Let's take Gutter Snipe. Banefire? Ooh, I like a Banefire. Guild Pact Informant. 3 mana for 1-1 one, one, whenever it deals combat damage to a player or planes or proliferate. Yeah, it's probably just Banefire. <clears throat> Let's be real. I mean, Hellrider's great, but I don't feel like we have a Hellrider deck. Like, how many creatures do we even have? Eight? Yeah, one of them is a an O in O3, so... We do have Towerin's Invocation and Kazmina, which make creatures, which is pretty nice. Astra and I were in the car today driving home and out of nowhere she said, do you miss Frank? I said, yes, yes I do. Buddy, I miss you a ton, man. <laughs> that's a really random thing for her to ask, but like, that's cute that she asked that. I want to take Temple. Dude, I know the feeling. I wish we could just go to like, Mission Barbecue. And then we can come back and stream some, some standard... Josh, awesome. Oh, Dragon Master Outcast seems banging. 
I do like winged words, but we don't have a ton of flyers, if any. Fairy Vandal, I guess, is our Talran's Invocation and Crackling Drake. Those are our. I think it's Dragmaster Outcast. Update on the World Trigger. Uh, I have no. I'll probably. I mean, I'll definitely play, I'll play. Play. Probably play it this week. The only concern, Josh, is that I have no idea like what we can do with it because it's like not standard legal. Like we'd have to play best of one and like. Oh, Sulphur Falls seems great for us. So does Wizard's Lightning, but I want to take Sulphur Falls. Eh. Three damage to any target as a sorcery speed. Yikes. Is Shock just better? I mean, we could possibly tweak it for Historic, but I mean, like, Historic's a pretty... I mean... We can, we'll, we'll see. I mean, we could try to do Historic. I'm just taking Shock here. Uh, wow, the Anax. Anax? Anax? One Axe came back. Eh, first strike discard card, Vaishing a Pyrancer, Chillbringer. <sighs> What's our curve looking like? I kind of just want Pyromancer here. I think we're just... My screen just did a flicker, which was... Disturbing. Uh, Aven Eternal seems great. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, draw a card. Unfortunately... That doesn't actually trigger Pyromancer. But it does do another thing that benefits oh, Forgotten Caves is nice. Uh blink of an eye draws this card. That seems good. Also cycles, which is pretty good because then we can just cycle it. That's how that works. Mike is still gone and I'm kind of amazed. When this enters battlefield, it it's negative X, negative O, where X is the devotion to blue. Don't care about that. Serendipity to Refreat might just be the best option here. Ben Big Card. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Ben Big Card. Yeah, we're just taking Serendipity to Refreat. Each player draws X cards. Each opponent mills cards. Folio Fancies was great in uh, in Thronvel Drain Limited. I wonder if it transfers here. Skizik, interesting Lightning Axe. It might just be Krenko. Like Krenko is just strong. Let's just take Krenko. We have a lot of three drops now. I don't really care about an axe. Young Pyromancer and Sahili? Wow, both of these are pretty good. Uh -huh. I think it's Young Pyromancer. It just comes down earlier. We have a ton of three drops already, too. Burning Prophet. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it gets plus one, plus O, oh, and then scry. Cartouche is nice. It does let us draw a card. Yeah, I'll just take the Cartouche. Cartucci. Cartucci. Fabloop. Uh, Supreme Will. Yeah, let's just take Fabloop. Take. I don't want to take Infuriate out because it is a spell. However, we can take Guardian, Guardian Idol out. We can take Perilous Mirror out. I don't love Sinister Sabotage. I feel like we're tapping out a lot. Midnight Clock. I 
Yeah, I'm just taking Midnight Clock. Ominous Sphinx, 4-4 for four, four, 5, flying whenever, when you cycle or discard a card, target creature from, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Iron Crag Feet, I don't think we're actually comboing with that, unlike when we built our uh, Star of Extinction deck. Yeah, I'm just taking the 5 drop. We only have it one other 5 drop, so. After midnight, we are going to let it all hang down. Where the hell did Michael go? Michael's phone is still in here, so we can't even get a hold of him. We're just going to have to look at this deck once we uh, get it all together. Mike B is probably all hanging out right now. That sounded worse than I thought when I typed it. Yeah, well, from the guy who wants to record Michael B's butthole while he's pooping. Murmuring Mystic seems banging. I said that, yes, but no video. I'm not a weirdo. I just want to listen to it. I just like to listen. Um, this is just a spell, so I'll take it. I don't see us playing it though. Skizik, Lightning Axe. I'll just take Skizik. Actually, I'll take Lightning Axe. Oh, Sahili came back? Oh, man. We gotta make... I feel like we can make so many tokens with this deck. Sahili, come back! Rob, if you really want to hear Michael's pooping noises, uh, you can find them on his OnlyFans page. All right, I'm actually really curious as to what to cut here. If we need six cuts, good gravy. Outcast, no. Infuriate, maybe. Mainfire and Shock, probably not. Blink is great. I might cut the Cartouche. It does draw us a second card, but it's not an instant or a sorcery. Okay, I don't care about this. I don't know if Runaway Steamkin is a card I really give a shit about. No, nah, he just says he posts stuff like that. Not worth the one hundred nine ninety nine I've been paying. <laughs> God, that's really supportive, man. I guess Pyromancer is kind of meh. I don't think Infuriate's really that great. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, draw a card. I mean, how many times are we going to trigger this? We have Flame Spill, Shock. We don't have a ton of things to cast during their turns. I'm going to cut that guy. I might actually put this back in because we want more instants and sorceries. I don't actually care about this guy, I don't think. Oh, given the Sphinx flying seems pretty OP. Does he have double flight? I heard the toilet lid fall down. So something's happening. Somewhere. I might actually cut the Sphinx. I don't think it's necessary as a win con. How many creatures do we have right now? 14, but we also have uh, Tauren's Invocation, uh, Sahili makes tokens, Young Pyromancer makes tokens. Yeah, I'm going to cut... Augur draws his card, so it does trigger Pyromancer. 
But that's pretty much it. It does have trample too. Maybe that's good. Let's cut the Sphinx. Yeah, Sphinx is fine. Um, I'm tempted to keep Infuriate. I think it's just another trigger for all of these cards. Plus it lets Krenko do... Uh, I, I could cut Steamkin, but I feel like it does. it is pretty good in the deck, like just because it gets big. I'd almost rather cut Fabloop. Or we can just play 41. 8, 9, 10, 6, 7, 8, 9. Which seems okay. I could do 41. So this is 8, 9, 15, 16, 17. Done. Are we missing anything good from here? No. Not, nothing, nothing I can't live without. Alright. Sold to the salt and pepper gentleman to the back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. Alright. Wow, Michael has, has disappeared from the planet. That's wild, dude. Oh, yeah, snap keep this bad boy. That was my toilet you heard. Wow. That's wild, dude. Also, for you guys watching, if you guys are looking for some sweet internet security, you can check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. You will get 68% off a two-year subscription plus one month free, which is pretty insane. So if you guys are looking for a great security solution of VPN, um, definitely check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. You can find the link in the chat or down in my Twitch description. It's a great deal. 68% off is pretty ridiculous. Oh, I was actually hoping we draw this so we can go turn two Steamkin and turn three Pyromancer. Like it. Um, I'm going to bottom this. Because it doesn't trigger this or this. It only triggers this. Uh, yeah, Mike ate the gummy bear immediately and then he left. Because he's now in the bathroom. I, 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 I think he might be dying. It's a concern I have. Okay. Katie is home. She's in bed right now. She's just having a, having a little napsy. SwoleMikeVPN.net left a lot to be desired. Yeah. We tried out SwoleMikeVPN, but the security just wasn't there. What is this guy? Just an X Man where X is the greatest power among creatures. Sounds good. Great Henge is pretty good on turn four. Yeah, that's the thing, alright. Does three damage to any target? Look at the top two cards, put one into your hand. Oh, this doesn't draw us a card, unfortunately, but. This does. So we can play Cartouche. Shoot the Sylvala. I kind of just want to keep Murmuring Mystic in hand, but I also just want to kind of play a four drop this turn. Yeah, Mike can usually handle his spicy stuff, so this is actually, I'm, I'm actually very surprised at the, at the result here. I think it's going to be hard to race Great Henge, both value-wise and life-wise.
At what point do I check on Mike? I don't know, man. Oh, a Kiora. Draw two cards. That's good. The ocean surges, life thrives. Yep, this is really, this is, like, this one card is pretty hard to deal with. You have one counter on you right now. This will be two. We can Murmuring Mystic as well. Target artifact becomes a copy of another target creature. We can actually copy this. Play like a draw spell. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. We're only gonna have six next turn, which is unfortunate. Yeah, and having no broken standalone cards in this format, the Great Henge is literally an engine on its own, which is kind of funny. Oh, boy. Oh, it also makes their guys bigger, so yeah, like, it's just really kind of terrible on all metrics for us. I almost did the death nuts, but I saw the YouTube video of people handling them well, so I knew Mike would. Then I saw the gummy and watched people get destroyed by it. I knew that was the one. <laughs> wow. People are getting utterly destroyed by this candy. All right, let me get one from Michael. Yeah, well, that's... Uh... Oh, good, an 8-8. That's really actually pretty easy for the red-blue deck to deal with when you're, most of your removal is damage-based. ETA on when Mike is eating this gummy? Uh, about 20 minutes ago. That would be the ETA. Nature yep, this is really fun. Boy, Great Henge is a cool card to include in this cube. And they're at 32 life. Seems good. Yeah. Good times. Like, there's really no... I feel like there's actually no point in continuing this match. Yep, still can't really play two spells a turn here. I mean, Dragmaster Outcast is another card that we can actually take advantage of, but... <laughs> well, I'm sure that's going on Sifter Worm, and you're just going to make multiple 8-8s a turn. Yep, that seems fucking super beatable. Yep. Cool. Yeah, it's an aided. Of course it has trample. Why wouldn't it? Yep. Michael's making gross ass noises right now. Oh, this gets haste too. Let's say it's, it's uh, token gains haste. Of course it is. So this is 15 by itself. Guys, Michael B has returned. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Go to 1, I guess. 
How you doing, man? Are you? Yeah. Oh, Krenko? Oh, yeah, Krenko's gonna win this game for us for sure. Cool. Did you throw <clears> up <throat> on your shirt? No, I was just downstairs, you know. I figured I needed to do a little cleaning. I had to start the laundry. I just felt like I needed a shower, so. You took a shower? Yeah. Huh. Dude, we all thought you were fucking dead. No, I'm fine. Okay, that was a lie. Um, I vomited profusely <laughs> over and over and over and over. <laughs> Uh, there was literally nothing left in my stomach when I was done. Oh my god. I know because at one point it, my body went to vomit again, and but like water came out. Um, so I did actually clean the bathroom because, well, there was vomit all over the toilet. Because <laughs> it was kind of splashy, you know. <laughs> and it needed to be cleaned anyway, so, you know, good timing. And I figured I might as well do my laundry and kind of got a little on my shirt, so. I figured I'm, and I felt kind of gross and... <laughs> So I took a shower. And I brushed my teeth for your sake because vomit, vomit kinds of a, yeah. And I can still taste some of the burningness in my mouth still. So, <laughs> Also, throwing it up, um, you can kind of relive the pain because <laughs> it's still really hot. You know, your body doesn't know it's going out. It doesn't care. So, uh. Wow, I thought you were totally, I believed you. You were like, yeah, it was totally fine. I just took a shower, just got a little cleaned up. I was like, like, just kidding, I vomited profusely. <laughs> I and mean, I did also shit, but that wasn't so bad. Luckily, it wasn't fiery. That um, might come later, though. Well, hopefully not, because... I oh, it's because it's all gone. It's all yeah, gone, that makes hopefully. sense. Jesus, dude. At least enough of it for... Hopefully, it won't be too painful. So, Rob said, I almost did the death nuts, but I saw YouTube videos of people handling them well. So, I knew Mike would. Then I saw the gummy and watched people get destroyed by it, and I knew that was the one. Boy, was it. Like, that is, um... How do I put this? My body thought it was poison because it was poisoned. It's very similar to poison, I would imagine, yeah. Like, when I... I wasn't planning to go vom, but my stomach hurt and I was going downstairs. I literally went downstairs just to change my laundry real quick because I was like, oh, I can... I can just change it real quick. But then the moment I got down the stairs, like, you just had that feeling and I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> so I ran to the toilet. <laughs> Things are happening. The gummy was a uh, little nitro. The world's hottest gummy bear. Um, it's definitely the hottest thing I've ever eaten, uh, for sure. And it says the little nitro challenge. Um, fully chew this fire bear and see if you can handle the heat. Can you go a full five minutes without relief? Michael did. So I did, and the heat in my mouth was bad, but it was nowhere as bad as like, like I think eating those um, those nuggets were actually more painful for my mouth, but it wasn't the same feeling. Like, like when I ate the last dab, like the bunch of those, like it definitely hurt in my mouth, but like my stomach never really felt anything until I had to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Later. But like this, immediately, like, as soon as the relief in my mouth started to go away and hit my stomach, like, immediately it was, like, stomach pain. You're like, oh, the pain has gone elsewhere now. Yeah. Like, it, like, like, it legit felt like I was having an ulcer. <laughs> and then a full 15 minutes of extreme relief. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it relief, per se. Probably longer than that. Yeah, we were like, fuck, he's gone. I think he's dying, and his phone is literally in here, so... Yeah. They just don't have anything to play. Wow, that's pretty wild. So every deck we're going to play against goes to uh, plus 30 life. That's pretty interesting. Like, I don't know if anyone's done this challenge before and not vomited because... I don't know how your body could take it. Push it to the limit. Like, it was like a sharp stomach pain, like someone had stabbed me. Like, it was really bad. Compared to glass pies, I mean, those are delicious. Listen to this clip at four seconds. What is this clip you sent? I don't, I don't see why not. See why not? <laughs> like my mouth was like almost numb. What is the what is the what are we listening to?
That's a lot of life they're gaining. Dan's could probably do it and not vomit. Rob, tell us what we're looking for, dude. Yeah, I don't even know for, like, even for Dan's, like, it's not about the pain tolerance, it's about your stomach being like, no, 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 this is, this is not for consumption. <laughs> like, it wasn't about the mouth thing. Like, that was painful, but no, it was no. like, you know, I could have got through that, no, no problem. It was just like, when it hit my stomach, my, my body was just like, no, reject, get out. Mike's body is telling him no. We weren't sure what we were looking for in the clip. It sounds like you can hear Michael's stomach. That would be insane. Uh, I'm definitely countering this thing. Maybe our volume just wasn't high enough. On this Krenko? I don't think so. Not on this board. Wait, did you get rid of my... How did you get rid of this? What? Oh, they start to... Oh, they cast finish. Got it. <clears throat> I was like, what? They have one card. Oh, we didn't watch it long enough. Apparently I said no, that was a lie in that clip. Pass the blockers. One, two, three. Sure, I got a bunch of freebie tokens. You got it. They have no cards in hand? We have a blink and a row? Sure, that seems good. Oh, old cracky boy? So we got two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sure. This is a draft for me? Okay, let's listen to this clip. But real close, maybe. Alright, we're definitely Ral's outbursting this now. Can I hand me that little nitro box? It's my little nitro. You don't know what I got. Actually, it's probably Pride made here. I'm a moron. Yep, that's terrible. Um, yikes. So. Thank you. So he's gonna go up to two. We're just gonna shock. Yeah, all right, cool. That's fine. I was worried about the death map, but <clears throat> according to Rob, a lot of people handle it just fine. The gummy bear was worse, apparently. Michael, quit talking about your death nuts. Burp. Kassam, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. How you feeling now? All right. Yeah. Picks that little guy. Man, death nuts are. Oh, Jesus. Excellent on the creature you control, then return to the battlefield under your owner's control. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you may pay a white. If you do, put a one-one counter on it. If it's a unicorn, put two counters on it. That seems decent. Seems hard to beat. What is this? Uh, power and tough sequels are more cards in your hand when it comes to play draw a card. Sure. So they don't have three, so they can't like blink, block, and blink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Ooh, Kazmir. 
a little cause I'm mean. Uh, just gonna play this and not use it this turn. Trostani, huh? Okay. You okay? We'll They're gaining a lot of life. Yeah, Michael. I'm I aware. You win. Oh, I'll win all right. Will you? Explain yeah, my name is winmore.com, Michael. That's cool, I guess. Thank you. Every day is a new okay, that's pretty good, I guess. Um, six, seven, eight. I don't think we can bane fire them out here. <laughs> Time to just kill this. But I think Tristani's probably better for them right now. And you gotta worry about that horse again. This horse. No, the other horse. What about it? If that comes down and lives, you're going to have a real bad time. So what do I do? What's your suggestion, Michael Horseman? Wait to kill it? The Tristani gives all their dudes plus one plus one. Isn't that already a thing? Isn't that already a thing? What do you mean? I don't know what you're saying right now. Yeah, but now. like you, you have plenty of good blocks, right? Like, I don't know. I, I think killing, I think Soul Warden is the least of my concerns. One, two. Not attacking the seven four? No, because then they just kill our Kazmina. Can they untap? What? Could they untap it? Yeah, oh, they mean... they get to untap it on their turn. <laughs> that, that's how the untap step works. I feel like getting a seven's important, but I guess maybe not. I mean I'd rather have another draw. Cool. Nice draw. I guess she should have attacked with it. Regardless, I have learned much. Guess it's just this guy. And if you want to block with anything, that's totally fine. I only have 51 life. We got this. What could go wrong, Michael? Lots. Now their blinky guy isn't quite as scary. Their blinky guy? Mm hmm. Yes, we have 15, they have 51. Block him. Man, I wish I had a blink of an eye still. Then I could bounce this guy, replay it, draw another card, shoot something, get my 7 4 back. Yep. yep, that's pretty incredible. No 
attacks. Yeah, this is pretty insane. Three mana, pay one, put double the counters on the thing. Sure. Do we overload? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? I don't understand. When I was done vomiting and showering, I was almost that, like, dude? I give up and just went to bed, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. Go to nine, I guess. Create a 3-3. Three, three. Make sure you put two counters on it. Make it a 5-5. Five, five. I have no spells with overload, no. Sounds good. Let's go to the next. I just don't feel like playing this out. Like, I'll just go to the next round. Like. It just takes so long, too. Yep. 0 2 so far. I thought this deck was real sweet, but apparently, uh. It's not. Is your first time playing this? Uh, no. <clears throat> so this is just like another arena cube yeah alright ideal draws allow you to curve out by both playing a land and spending all available mana every turn for the first few turns Hunter's is like dead asleep, dude. Want me to go get it? Uh, no, it's Jamie and Shelly, I assume. Okay, she knows. Uh, I don't love it. But I'll keep it. Eh. Four four, huh? Okay, okay. Well, I'm probably just gonna flame spill on that dude. You ever flame spilled, Michael? Yeah. Big flame spill. Mike did eat the gummy bear in the first twenty minutes of the stream. It was wild. Part of his insides are. You know, something so tiny could be so destructive. I knew. Because I'm you know. <clears throat> Back of my throat still burns a little bit. Buddy, no one cares about your throat. Okay? I do. No one. But me. Michael, not even you care about it. Wow. Got him. What to do here? I guess we'll attack. See what happens. Oh wow. Dogs be acting acting crazy. I do kinda want the land. 
Maybe I'll get rid of Cartucci. Cartucci. Yeah, okay. Then we'll play a free. And a for blue. Draw another card. Oh boy. You hear those dogs, man? Oh, I hear them. They're really angry right now. They don't know what's happening. Katie's brother and sister-in-law are spending the night tonight because they're driving through here to get to Bozeman, Montana. Is Michael's throat burning? Michael, how's your throat doing? A little burnt. Would you say it's a little crispy? Mm. Mm. We got one spell in the graveyard, so this guy's power is one. I guess I could just write it on there. Man. Can you guys so hear those dogs, dude? The way they sound is too adorable. I'm just like, who are you kidding, bud? My name is Michael B. It's like a penguin when you draw two cards, right? Uh, this? Mm -hmm. It's whenever you draw your second card each turn. Wow, Euro. That's good. That's a cool card for this fucking random cube with things like Avon Eternal in it. Wow. All right. So first round, I would say we lost to the Great Henge. Second round... Is there any particular card we lost to? Oh, it ain't over yet. Play this round three. I'm done. Yep. Attack me for six. No? Just two? Okay. To me, daddy. <laughs> you like that? Something like that. Yeah, let's go. Wow, Lockmere Serpent and Tomb Rex Arc ship. This deck seems like my... Wow. This is the deck I want to be playing. Nice constructed deck. I'm just going to play this guy. It's going to let us draw two and discard two? Sure. Oh, we discard up to a number of cards. Uh, let's just discard. Probably two? Maybe one? Let's just say one. Trigger these two. Shoot this idiot. God, they have a lot of hostility in their hearts. They're very angry. Did she shut my door? Mm -hmm. She did. Okay. So I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Cartucci. No, I don't have to worry about those pizza calories anymore. What pizza calories? Exactly. Jesus. Seems good. That seems really cool. Uh-huh. That's a good one. Yeah. It sure is. This archetype seems terrible. 7-1 and 7-0 with blue-red. It is the best or second best strat in this game. That does not seem to be my experience currently. But, you know. <sighs> Michael Guido Cartucci. I guess it depends on the cards you get. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, that's correct. Oh, boy, there. Oh, Banefire and a Fire Prophecy. Let me put a card on there if you draw a card. Let's take that. But you don't want Banefire? You don't want it. Well, you can take care of the 7-7 eventually. I mean, yeah, we have six mana. It's going to take three more lands. So three more turns at the very least if we draw three lands. So I don't think we survive three more turns against the seven. two lands? One, two, three, four, five, six. That'd be eight lands. Yeah, sure. Okay, two lands. Sure. God. God, he really did. Damn near wrecked him.
I need to mail you some random crap. Okay. Thank you. Is that what you're doing right now? Guido Cartucci. Is that your dad's name? Yeah. Okay. God, don't be rude, Michael. Was that rude? Lord of Extinction, only 2121. Oh. Well, it doesn't have trample, so that's fine, right? I guess. I guess that's cool. See, like, the red blue deck just has no fucking way to deal with this unless you're countering it. And then it's like... Four, five, six, sevens. I guess we can play this guy. Now if they play a Rancor to go with their 21-21, you can counter it. Thank goodness. Make a bird. I made a bird. I don't need that. He wants to fly away. I don't know where that bird goes. Even if it's between your toes. But if it's there, then you know where it is because you just admitted. Right? No. No. That's cool. Sweet. Nice. Not a creature, also not a spell. Sounds Sweet. good. Sounds good. Yeah, blink of an eye? Yeah, that'll really get rid of a Lockmere Servant. I, I prevented one turn. I don't know. Like that's my point, though. Like your your answer in in red and blue is literally three damage or bounce a thing for one turn. Yeah, I mean, if he was beating decks with uh, Euro Lord of Extinction Lockmere Serpent back for more, then more power to him, I guess. Ha! He just made his Lord of Extinction smaller. What an idiot! Dummy. I guess if you curve out with perfect flyers, sure, but that like that's like that has nothing to do with being blue and red. You could be blue and white then. Yep, that's a fucking blank card. Oh, he doesn't even make a token. Cool. All right, that was pretty sweet draft. Thank you guys for watching <laughs> this O3 monstrosity. I hopefully you guys were enjoying the uh, Mike B. Uh, gummy death. Death and, by uh, gummy. We'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching.